morning at Hereford Hospital's NHS Trust and a surgical recovery area is being decontaminated. It happens three times a day and is part of its zero tolerance approach to healthcare associated infection. All the floors are scrubbed and then the any water is sucked away. Uh, we have high dusting and low da dusting, wash hand basins, surface tops. I look at this as if it's clean enough for myself or my wife or my family to come in, it's clean enough for a patient. No one could doubt what's expected of them in the hospital's fight against infection. With 1,700 staff and well over 200,000 patients a year, the hospital could be a breeding ground for germs. By its own admission, it wasn't always as clean. Infections were a problem at this hospital three or four years ago. You can, you can just look at the statistics, they tell the story. What we've done is to say we're going to er eradicate infections. That's our top priority in terms of making this the safest hospital in the UK. It's not down to me. What we've done is to engage our staff in bringing about that change. And the recent numbers show that success. We're virtually there in terms of eliminating MRSA. We've halved C. diff rates in the last year. We will continue until we see zeros in the, in the columns for the, for the main infections. Dave Shellam is being screened for MRSA ahead of surgery. If he's found to have it, he'll be treated before coming into hospital. Hedderford did have a very bad reputation. I understand that it was one of the worst in the country, but the way they've turned it round and what they're doing now is absolutely marvellous. I wouldn't have come into hospital if it hadn't have been done. The work that has gone on has improved our position markedly over the last 18 months. For the general public, though, we need to ensure as an organisation that we're open and inform them of those results so they're aware that when they make a choice as to which hospital to come for surgery, they are aware of our results and know that they're coming somewhere that has good infection control procedures and low infection rates. Patient swabs come here to the hospital's laboratories. The screening process is a key aspect of targeted prevention measures. The microbiology department is absolutely critical in the role of controlling infection in the hospital. It provides the technical support and backup to everything that happens on the wards. So for example, this hospital was one of the first to introduce MRSA screening for all patients. We provide Clostridium difficile testing which enables us to treat patients early and isolate them early. On the wards, cleanliness is paramount, the hospital says, with air disinfectant filters and alcohol gel dispensers aplenty. How big a challenge has it been to change attitudes to infection control? Um, quite huge, really, because it's a different way of working. Everybody has different practices. Um, on here now, it's just day-to-day -day routine that hand gelling, cleaning patients' lockers and tables. Um, we still challenge anybody that comes through the doors if they don't gel their hands. There's an awful lot of scaremongering that does go on through, through newspapers. I have every faith now, I wouldn't mind how many times I had to come back into this hospital because I, I know exactly how it's run with regard to cleanliness. And it's that confidence that Hereford Hospital's NHS Trust aims to inspire as it continues its campaign against infection, with patients' health, it says, a top priority.